and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Thanks very much to subscribe star Carl Sutton for the request. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what I want to do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so the tempos, um, it varies in this song. So it starts off about 120 BPM, and it goes to 140 and um, a few other tempos. So it's between 120 and 140 BPM throughout the song. Okay, cool. So it's in the key of C major, but it's also kind of transposes to the key of F major in the third and fifth verses. Cool, so let's take a look at the chords first. So what we've got, <coughs> 
is a C major chord. This is quite cool, there's a broken E shape. So it's basically, instead of playing the full bar of C major, you're just playing the uh, sort of um, these four strings. So third finger, 10th fret D, middle finger, 9th fret G, then bar the, the eighth fret on the B and the E strings. So That's a C major chord. You also got a F sus two chord. So third finger, 10th fret G, and then bar, keep the first finger barred on the uh, eighth fret of the B and E strings. <clears throat> okay, cool, so we also got an A minor chord. Again, broken E shape. So third finger, seventh fret D, and then bar the G, B, and the E strings with your first finger. You also take that same shape, move it up, so your third finger's on the 12th fret, uh, and you've got, so it's uh, 12, 10, 10, 10, and you've got a D minor chord there. We've just got a G major chord. So third finger, 12th fret G, little finger, 12th fret B, first finger, 10th fret A. We've also got a really nice C7 voicing here. Okay, so um, third finger, 10th fret D. So it's basically like the C chord, but you're kind of playing a B flat there with your little finger on the 11th fret B there. We've got a G minor chord. So third finger, 12th fret G, middle finger, 11th fret B, first finger, 10th fret E. A F major chord, which is the same as your G, but moved down to the, um, so it's 10, 10, 8. That's an F major kind of triad. That's a, you could technically call that a broken A shape. Uh, and then you also got a D chord, which is the same shape as your C major. I just moved up two frets. So it's 12, 11, 10, 10. Uh, and then we've also got a full G major chord, A major. So um, this is basically barring the 10th fret from the A string and then barring the 12th fret on the D, G and B strings. And you also got a C sus, uh, you also got a G7 chord. Got I forgot to play that one. I played a G in the walkthrough, but um, there's a bit of a triplet bit. Should be done with a G7. So uh, the 10th fret from the A string, and then third finger, 10th, uh, 12th fret D, little finger, 12th fret B. And you've also got a really nice C sus4 chord. And this is my kind of own interpretation of this song. The guitar is quite low in the mix. So third finger, 10th fret D, little finger, 10th fret G, and then bar the eighth fret. Really nice chord that, C sus4. Cool, so yeah, it's about 12 chords there. Uh, also on the backing track that I've made for this, uh, I've also kind of put some sort of, um, sort of backing guitar, sort of simple strumming. Um, I won't go through that today because again, can't really hear it on the, uh, the record too much. There's obviously some, there's probably more than one guitar, um, but I've just done some simple stuff. Um, you won't be able to get, if you get the tabs on the, on the website or subscribe stuff. Cool, so they are the chords. Also what I'll do now is put the song structure up on the screen. So um, again, you should find that useful for breaking down sections. Any chords in brackets means there's more than one chord in that particular bar. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got 12 chords there in the main guitar part, so it's quite cool. Some nice, uh, sort of bright sounding chords there. Cool, so what we'll do, again, the song structures will be in the description as well. So let's just take a look. So basically the intro is when Bruce is kind of talking to the audience. I think it's a live performance that's on that kind of My Hometown sing um, um, single. So yes, yeah, so you've basically got a two bar kind of piano riff that you can hear. And that's 12 rounds of that, okay? So that's just the piano and the glockenspiel and the you know, sort of tambourine, sleigh bell, sleigh bell kind of a sound. And then the first verse where you sing in, start singing, you basically, it does that uh, two bar piano riff uh, another six times. So it's quite a while before the actual guitar comes in, okay? Uh, and then you've got, we're gonna do the second verse, okay? So basically what it sounds like, there's some nice, really nice kind of intricate picking. Again, quite low down in the mix. So you're gonna start with a C major chord and you're gonna get this, uh, this picking pattern going. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So eight quavers or eighth notes, so half a beat each. One and two and three and four and. This pattern's gonna come up quite a lot. So I like to go D string, then E, B, G, E, B, G, B. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up or if you prefer another sort of you know, just strict alternate picking, feel free to do that. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then F sus two, down, up, down. So same picking pattern, but with the F sus two now. So G, E, B, G, E, B, G, B. And 
you basically do that four rounds of that, so it sounds really nice. You can even just add your little finger. If you want to keep that third and the first finger barred, you can sort of finger it in different ways. It sounds really nice, I think. Cool, and then it sounds like it's doing some sort of, there's, it's quite hard to pick out exactly the chord voicings, but I'm thinking pretty close with these. It's something on these lines. It might be in different parts of the neck, but this will work really well. So then, so you do that C to F sus two four times in the second start of the second verse. And then what you've got is C to A minor, half a bar of each. So I'm gonna do this down, up, up, up. So D, E, B, G, and do the same thing now with the A minor. Same thing with the D minor and then same thing with the G. So it's really nice kind of run there, C. A minor, D minor, G, and then C major, the, the bar we had in the, the start of the second verse. And then do the same thing, but with the C7. So you can definitely hear a C7 here. So it'll sound really nice. So let me just go through the whole of the second verse, so. Sus two, so C F to sus two uh, four times. This is the second time, so third time. Sounds really nice actually. And then the fourth time. Then, then C A minor, D minor, G C C seven. Cool. So then you've got this. This is where it kind of transposes. It goes to I think the C seven again. Very clever songwriting technique. Sort of sets it up nicely for this key change. Um, okay. So you've got G minor here. Again, same picking pattern as that kind of C A minor bit. So uh, so G minor now. Down, up, up, up. E, G E B G. Then C D E B G. Then the F major. The same picking pattern is kind of like the start of the, the second verse. Down, up, down. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And you do that, those two bars twice. Oops. So there's quite a lot of new chords. If you're not familiar with these kind of like tri triads and sort of broken chords, there's some really cool, cool techniques in here. So, uh, so yeah, so those two bars twice. And then you go to D major. Kind of same picking pattern as the kind of the start of the second verse again. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And this is the bit where the tempo changes, goes right up. Better be good for goodness sake. So that bit there, and just do a G major chord, a sort of really snappy, cut it dead, and then you're basically resting for four bars. So let me just go through the whole of the third verse, which is also exactly the same as the fifth verse. So keep uh, sort of uh, checking back with the song, song structure. Okay, so um, third verse, one and two. So down, up, 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 down, up, up, up. Then uh, F major, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And do all that again. One and two and three, three and four and one and two and three and four and D major for two bars. and then kind of do the G, then kind of um, four bar break, basically. Cool, and then you've got, um, so that's basically the chords, the tempo, the keys, the uh, song structure, and then we've also done the intro, first, second, third, and fifth verses as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the fourth verse now. So this is where, actually, it's worth mentioning that pretty much the rest of the song is in shuffle feel, so it's triplet, um, quaver eighth note shuffle feel. So basically what you're doing is instead of going, so this is the first bar for example, if this was straight timing it would go one and two and three and four and. But what's happening is, is when you've got a pair of quavers or eighth notes, the first one is two thirds of a beat, the second one is one third of a beat, okay? Um, if you want to click on the card above, I've got some uh, sort of uh, lessons, um, it's Half World Away by Oasis or, and songs like that, which will teach you kind of nice beginner songs. So we'll teach you about shuffle feel. Because uh, basically the rest of the song from now is in shuffle feel. So some of the earlier riffs that you're gonna repeat, you'll basically shuffle them up. So it's worth bearing that in mind. So yeah, so what's happening here is you've got the C chord now, but you're gonna strum it. So this is the strumming pattern I think is roughly happening. So you're gonna go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Counting wise, one and two and three, because it's a tie on the three there. One and two and three and four and. 
and then C sus4, okay? And then one, two, and three, and four, and, and again on the backing track, I've done some kind of, on the backing track over this, I've kind of got C and F. So things like that, just to make it sound a bit thicker, okay? So, so you've got a C, C, uh, C, one bar of C, and then C sus4, two rounds of that. So start with the four first again, so C. Cool, and then you've got this cool rhythmic thing where it's basically coming in on beat two. So it's one, two, three, and four, and so seven Okay, and then you've got um, C sus four, the same as the kind of second bar, the four first. Come down. You just do that again. One, seven. Cool, so um, that's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. And then you've got that run that we had earlier. C major and I can definitely hear some kind of triplet build up here so these are triplet eighth notes or quavers which basically means you've got 12 notes or chords in a bar so the way I count this is one and a two and a three and a four and a this is the G7 down up down up and an alternate picking so down up down up down up down up down up down up one and a two and a three and a four and a of course I just play the whole of that four first so you've got C So that bar of C with the gap, you've got one beat gap, then one, two, three, and four, and one, down, up, down, up. So this, the first strum is one and a half beats long, a dotted crotch here, or quarter note. One, two, three, and four, C sus four, and then do that again, and then C, A minor, D minor, uh, G major, C, nice build up to the sax solo. So, and basically the sax solo is pretty much the same thing. So do exactly the same thing, apart from the last bar, you're gonna do a C7 instead of a G7. So just make sure you do the, the um, just check the song structure there. So gonna, the last two bars of the sax solo will go, or something similar, cool. Um, so we've done the fifth verse, again, the same as the third verse. So then the sixth verse, the start of it sounds um, quite a bit different. So basically what you've got, um, it sounds like just a kind of common pattern. Kind of for um, four bars. So you've got this um, one and two and three and four. And you've got this kind of sort of a running bass line kind of on the piano. Something slightly different there. Um, so this C chord here, just do this for four bars. One and two and three and four and D, E, B, G, D, E, B, G, and just repeat that for four bars. And then you're on the kind of the, um, this bit of the, uh, the fourth verse. So one, two, three, and four. You do that again twice. And then, and then you, it's basically you can sort of come out and it's the kind of the middle eight section. Let me just play that whole of the six first. So you've got that call over the top with a piano and uh, I've done that with the bass and the backing guitar and the backing track as well. So you've got the C for four bars. Do that for four bars and then one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, three, and four, and one. And four, and one. Of course, so the middle eight is basically very much very similar to the intro. Uh, so it's 12 rounds, but what you're going to do is not play on the first eight rounds and let it build up. And then basically, the last four rounds, uh, you're going to do that basic intro riff. But again, we will be shuffling it a little bit because the whole song from the four first is kind of shuffle. Okay, so you've got this kind of. The same as the intro riff and you basically just do that for four rounds and it builds up got some backing guitar as well um, with some doing some triplets just to build up there as well so that's the middle eight so pretty straightforward there and then basically the outro 
um, is pretty much the same as you know, same sort of stuff that you've been doing in some of the other verses. So the outro is just going to do four rounds now instead of two of the um, down, up, down, up. Actually, no, you're not. You're going to do the basically the, the bit with the pause at the end. So it's one. So you can do that four times. One instead of the two that you've done in some of the previous verses. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So do four rounds of that, and then you're going to go C, A minor, D minor, G, and then you've basically got the the jingle bells riff after that. Um, cool, so let me just play the whole of the outro. So one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. So four rounds of this. This round, two, round three, round four, C, A minor, D minor, and then the jingle bells kind of piano outro. Cool, so that's all the parts. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's nice to kind of get this done on, uh, since I'm filming this on uh, Christmas Eve 2020, just in case you're watching this repeat in future months. So um, thanks very much to Carl for the request. Um, thanks very much for watching and supporting the channel this year. Subscribe stars, patrons, and just generally commenting and, and liking the video. So please give it a, th a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and comment. Any questions or comments, leave it in the comments section below. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching and supporting the channel this year. I'll be, there's lots more Bruce to come. Uh, if you'd like to get hold of any of the files, or any of the tabs that you see on the screen, that's made in a great program called Guitar Pro. Um, we can, it's relatively inexpensive. Um, you can speed up, slow down loop sections. And for example, you can play this, and you can also, for example, see some of the other parts that I haven't been able to go through in the, in the walkthrough just for sort of time. Uh, so the breakdown of this video, just if it's due to time constraints or whatever and play along with the other parts it sounds really cool if you don't want it in guitar pro format you can get in guitar pdf format as well um, and you can if you want to get back in tracks and extra chords and chord diagrams and tabs during this breakdown lesson of the video head over to subscribestar.com forward slash bruce springsteen guitar and check all the what's involved in all, all the tiers you can get all these files lots of files sent out to your email address on the third of every month um, if you didn't want to uh, you can also get guitar solo videos on Subscribestar and Patreon as well. I'd only subscribe star if you if you wanted to sign up for one of those services. Um, so there's loads of stuff on there. I mean, loads and loads of videos from all my, you know, I started it in kind of um, in January of this year. So all the, there's loads, there's cause about 15 guitar solo videos and I've made over well over 40 backing tracks and there's about 90 odd um, videos, Bruce lessons that I've done now on YouTube. Um, but if you didn't want to do the subscription thing, uh, my website is now uh, up and running. So it's jsmusicschool.co.uk um, and just go into the shop and it's clearly, you just click on the three categories. One's guitar profiles, PDFs, and they'll all be in alphabetical order and backing tracks as well. And you just download it directly to your computer. So um, any questions about that, feel free to ask. Thanks for all your support uh, this year. So um, again, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve on um, in 2020. So uh, so, um, but um, thanks very much for watching, support the channel, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.